TikTok is most likely getting banned. So what do you do? You don't want to lose all the videos that you work so hard on. Download your videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. There's two ways that you could do this. You could either use repurpose.io or you could use Snaptech if you only wanted to get a couple of your videos. Now, both of these methods will download all of your videos in 1080p quality and remove the watermark for you. I'm going to start by talking about the easier way to do this, which is Snaptake. To download the video with Snaptake, all you have to do is copy the link on the video that you want, go over to snaptake.app, once you're on Snaptick, you just paste the video link on there and hit download. When it's done downloading, you just click the arrow on the bottom where it says downloads and then you hit save to phone. And then you have your video. It's good. It's good to go. But if you wanted to download all of your videos, maybe you posted like a thousand videos and you don't have time to sit there and do that for every single video that you've done. In that case, you're going to want to use repurpose.io. With repurpose.io, you could create a link between your TikTok and a Dropbox or a Google Drive automatically, and it will automatically download all of your videos for you at once. To do this, you need to set up a membership, but you could do a 14-day free trial. When you're done downloading all the videos that you want, you could just cancel the 14-day free trial. Once you're on repurpose.io, you're going to go to connections. You're going to go to source. Then you're going to add a new connection. You're going to select TikTok since that's where you're going to be pulling the videos from. And then after that, you're going to add a new destination, which is where you want your videos to go. So I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to connect my Google Drive. After that, you need to create a new workflow. You name your workflow. Then you select the source type. Then you're going to choose the action. So for this, I want to download the full video. Select your destination. And this could even create a new folder for you. Your publish mode, manual or auto. You're probably going to want to do auto so that it will automatically take all of your videos at once and put them in the folder for you. And at that point, all of your videos should start downloading for you automatically. This will take some time. And if you have any problems, repurpose.io actually has a really good tutorial set up where you could do a step-by-step -step process on how to do each of these things. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. And unfortunately, this video is not sponsored. Make sure you like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more social media tips. And if you're interested in learning more about the potential TikTok ban, make sure you click this video right here and I give you a full breakdown.